Hello, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, everything. Uh, this is Alex at U Rock Music Center. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you the PRS, the Paul Reed Smith MT15. The MT stands for Mark Tremonti. Yep, that Mark Tremonti. Uh, you may know him best from Creed, but he's done other stuff. And, uh, you know, Ultra Bridge and some other stuff, I assume. I'm not 100% up on Mark Tremonti's post-Creed career. Uh, yeah, but um, he has a, not only, he's been a Paul Reed Smith endorsee for a very, very, very long time. Uh, you know, I remember as a kid, you know, watching him play those PRSs in those videos. And, you know, back then, when I was 11 or 12, I didn't know what those were. But, uh, so he's been a PRS endorsee for a very, very long time. He's got his own uh, SE model, and he's got his own core model uh, for guitars. But recently, PRS has come out with the MT-15. This is the uh, matching head and combo. So the head is a uh, 6L6 powered 15 watt switchable down to 7.5 watts. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, powerhouse, man, this thing is a powerhouse. Um, the matching cab is a sealed back 112. And it's a great little cabinet. I've tried it with different heads and the like. And this cabinet just booms. It's got great balanced base. Um, you know, uh, it's loaded with a Celestion. Um, I'm going to find out which one. I can't remember, honestly, what Celestion is in this cabinet, but I'll, uh, I'll put it in the video. But this guy, uh, you know, the first thing you notice right off the bat about this amp is the red glow, right? Uh, this menacing red glow. Uh, so that signifies that you are on the lead channel. Now, we switch it over here with this little switch, uh, and included is a two-button foot switch for channel switching on this and a boost. Uh, if I switch this down, you're going to notice, ah, nice, calming blue lights. And so our blue lights, we got the uh, clean channel. <laughs> right? Menacing, calming. Menacing, calming. Nice touch. Um, this is not, this is, this is not a, uh, Swiss Army knife of amplifiers. This is a two-trick pony. Uh, and I'm not saying that in any sort of bad way. Uh, you know, I think I think a lot of people get into this mindset of they want everything that they own to be able to do everything. And it's just, it's not going to happen. Um, it's not going to give you any kind of good in any area. It's going to give you a bunch of mediocre for the most part. Unless we're talking about those fractal, you know, the Axe FX and the Line 6 uh, Helix to a slightly lesser extent. Those are really nice. Um, this is not for that. This is a rock guitar amplifier. It gives you a clean channel and it gives you a dirty channel. Um, but the clean channel is a good, you know, it's a British voiced. It's not going to give you those sparkly fender cleans. It's just not. Um, and that's not a bad thing. You know, this is definitely more British voiced. Um, so, you know, right now I've actually got the mids sort of cranked, um, but, uh, so if I sort of flatten off the EQ, I'll show you what we get. This is everything, uh, at about 12 o'clock. Let me go into my, uh, coil split here. It's not a fender. It's not fender cleans. It's not gonna be. It's not ever gonna be. Uh, but it is a good clean channel for most rock stuff. You 
can sort of fenderize it, crank the mids way down, and you get a little bit more fendery. <laughs> Pretty convincing. Um, it's a good, it's a it's a good clean channel. Uh, no bells and whistles. It gives you bass, middle, and treble. And on the treble, if you pull the treble out, it gives you a boost on the clean channel, so you can or push it in. You're back to normal. And that's foot switchable too. It's a nice function to have. Um, that's not really what this amp is about though. Uh, this amp is really about this channel. Menacing. Uh, so right now I have got my uh, bass and my middle and my treble sitting at about three o'clock. I am not a mid scooper. I repeat, I am not a mid scooper. I hate mid scooping. Um, personally, for me, for my taste, for the way I play, the things I play, what I like to do, I hate the mid scoop sound. It sounds good when the guitar is by itself. The minute you try to play with a band, you are lost. You're absolutely lost. Um, you know, that bass, you're going to start running into the bass player with that treble. You're going to start getting wa washed out with the cymbals. Guitars are really all about mid. Um, now, right now, like I said, I've got everything turned up to about three o'clock. Now that, that gain is only about halfway up. The gain's sitting at about 12 o'clock. This thing has heaps, heaps and heaps and heaps of gain on tap. Um, you can turn that down a little bit, get more crunch than distortion, you know. classic rock sound and it's still it's still a decent amount of gain you know to solo with still plenty of gain to work with but this thing just has gobs and gobs and heaps and gobs and heaps and gobs of gain on tap um, I'm gonna take this gain Past 12 o'clock, we're gonna go to about three o'clock. Um, you can hear a little bit of hiss out of the amp when it's up that loud. I have the guitar actually all the way down. Turn that up. That's a lot of gain right off the bat. Now, uh, what I'm playing here actually, as you can tell, is a uh, Paul Reed Smith Mira Semi Hollow. This is not the SE version. That is set to debut very, very soon. This is the old discontinued S2 model. I don't know why it was discontinued. I love this guitar, um, but it was discontinued. But keep an eye out for the SE models. That'll be coming out very soon. Um, but so I've got our game, like I said, turned up to about uh, now we're at about three o'clock, about three quarters of the way up. And this thing just screams, just absolutely screams. <laughs> Crazy amount of gain on tap. Crazy amount. Crazy. Way more than most people are ever playing with. Um, not to say that some people aren't going to be playing with that much. I would. I could honestly never play with that much gain. Uh, I'm not good enough. When you're playing with that much gain, boy, you, you got to really be on these strings here. Uh, but anyway, I mean, there is. You do not need a distortion pedal. Any gain in your input signal for this at all. You know, if you want put like a tube screamer in line on it. I think a solid choice for that tone shaping, but you don't need the extra gain. There's just, there's no reason for anyone to be playing with any more gain. Um, now, like I said, I'm not a mid scooper, but if you are a mid scooper, this one's for you. Let me go drop D here for a second. Mm 
So if you want a mid scoop here, we'll keep our base and our treble turned up to about three o'clock. And we're going to take our middle and we're going to turn it down to about nine o'clock. We're going to get this mid scoop sound. I'm going to take the gain up to eh, maybe about two o'clock and you can get, you know, some, some good modern metal sounds out of the sample too. <laughs> about these amps actually isn't sort of the high gain sounds. Um, the medium gain sounds on this are pretty great too. This doesn't do low gain very well, um, but you know, right now I've got the gain turned down. It's at about nine o'clock, so it's, you know, only about a quarter of the way up, but it's great for some of these Almond Brothers type sounds. If you can think about uh, some of those Dickie Betts guitar sounds. <laughs> So make no mistake about it, uh, this is not this is not an amp for someone who's in a uh, country band. This isn't an amp for someone who's um, this isn't this isn't an amp for someone who's looking for a uh, like a jack of all trades type amp. This is an amp for someone who's looking for metal sounds. I mean, I'll come right out and say that. Um, it, it's not that this amp can't do some other things, but it's definitely more voiced towards metal and hard rock. Um, it's also, it just doesn't have, it doesn't have those low gain sounds that a lot of people might be looking for. Um, now this is a 15 watt amp, um, and you might say to yourself, oh, uh, was that going to be powerful enough for me to play with my band? And that is an absolute resounding yes. This is a crushingly loud 15 watt amp. Um, and even with it switched down to seven and a half you know, at half power, this thing still roars. It screams. Wattage is a funny thing. Wattage is not necessarily a rating of loudness. Wattage on an amp is more determined by the, uh, the, the level of clean headroom, the level before you start to get breakup in your signal. And when you're in the drive channel, that rating essentially becomes meaningless. Um, you know, and also remember that, you know, wattage is, is on a logarithmic scale. A 30 watt amp is not twice as loud as a 15 watt amp. Um, this thing would have more than enough power for, I would say, 99% of gigging musicians. The only people that it might not have enough power for are people who are not reliant on PAs at all. Um, 
if you're getting all the volume for a gig from stage volume, this might not be loud enough depending on the venue, but for a lot of venues it would be. Um, but if you're like almost everyone else playing live these days, you're going to be mic'd up and you're going to be going through the PA. Um, so there's a lot of stuff I like about this amp. The only thing, I, if, for me, this wouldn't be an amp, honestly, that I would use um, only because I do use a lot of low, you know, to mid-gain sounds. Um, and this, this amp just doesn't really do that. It's not meant to do that. This amp is meant for high gain. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff I like about this amp. Like, I like having the switchable power on it so you can get decent tone at, I wouldn't say low volumes, but not ear-crushing volumes. You can play this. I, as an apartment dweller, I probably wouldn't. Um, you're definitely going to upset some neighbors. Uh, but, you know, if you're in your own house... You're going to be fine. Uh, this amp has a lot of inputs and outputs on it. It's got an effects loop on it. It's got um, lots of different cab selections. So you can have 16 ohm, 2 8 ohms, or single 8 ohm, I believe. Um, so you can, if you want a little bit more, you want to push a little more air, you can hook up multiple cabinets. Um, but as it is, this single 12, uh, even at half power, is plenty loud to play with a band. Um, it's plenty loud to upset your neighbors. So you might hear 15 watts and be put off, but trust me, you don't need more than 15 watts for most situations nowadays, I don't think. Uh, it gives you good volume. Uh, well, it gives you good tone at a reasonable volume. It's not going to be, you know, bedroom level, but basement level maybe. Let's say basement level volumes. Um, so, and you know, you can get the head and the cab together on this for just about a thousand bucks. The head itself is, uh, let me check, I don't remember exactly anymore, $649. Um, the head is $649 and the cab is $389. So like I said, you're looking right around a thousand bucks for, I mean, a really, really killer, distinct sounding amp. This will definitely compete with the big boys, your Marshalls, your Black Stars. Uh, other things in that high gain territory. And uh, I'll tell you from experience, I do also sell Black Stars here. This thing definitely has more gain on tap than any Black Star I have in the store, at least. Um, so find a PRS dealer local and see if they have it, and definitely come check it out. Um, you can order it through my reverb shop if you like. Um, but, uh, you know, killer amp for the right person. That's what I'll end with.